What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be talking about the game against Olympiacos at Molyneux, the second leg of the round 16 Europa League tie. And, well I have to say, we did it the hard way today. We really did do it the hard way. And I guess, I guess that's the Wolves way, isn't it? We, we, all, we always do things the hard way, as Don Goodman once said. <laughs> but, well we did it. We did it, and the old obviously the old the old saying goes: it doesn't matter how you get there, it's it's the the fact that you're there in the end. And we are in the quarterfinals of the Europa League, but it could have easily it could have easily swung another way because it's it it swung this way and that in this game in in this game tonight, and it could have easily gone in Olympiakos' favour. They had a couple of good chances. But it's results business. It's a results business, and you got to take your chances in, especially in this day and age as well, where you know so many teams across the world play exciting, attacking brand of football. And credit to this, that's where credit has to be laid on Olympiakos because they played quite well, and you know everyone, may, well, you know not everyone, but some people may have been may have, may have ex expected Olympiakos. To park the bus and try and nick it late on, possibly. But they played an exciting, attacking brand of football and really went for it, which you know, as a neutral, you like you like to see. But it was definitely nervy from from my point of view, and I'm I'm sure it was it was nervy from many other Wolves fans' point of view as well. And they came very close on a couple of occasions, and also, well. After Raul Jimenez stuck the penalty away in the eighth minute, after Pedence did very well chasing the chasing the goalkeeper, which you don't see you don't see that often these days. You don't see uh, attackers chasing after the ball. They 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 just save their energy and let 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 the keeper punt it up the pitch. But credit to Pedence, he he used his uh, a bit of energy and. He's been lively in the past few games. He's really, really impressed in the past few games, especially, especially in my opinion. I, th I think, I think he should have. I mean, he he, he signed in the January transfer window, and I, honestly, I think I think he should have played a lot more. Uh, he, sh he should have featured a lot more in the Premier League and in in European competitions this season, because he is a real young prodigy. And like, like other, we've got a very young side, but we we've got a serious talent on our hands, Daniel Pudence. And obviously, he came from Olympiacos, and you don't you don't expect many talented players to come from the Greek league because you know it's 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 not really renowned for being the the highest caliber of leagues because well there there isn't many teams in it for a start, but he is. He he is an absolute talent, and we've got to we've got to do our best to keep hold of him because if he keeps putting in performances like this, there will be definitely high, uh, higher ranks. Well, you know, higher, more esteemed Champions League clubs after his signature. Maybe, uh, may, maybe in in the coming six or twelve months, if he keeps, you know, into the new season, if he keeps. Performing and he keeps getting game time as well. He will definitely get noticed. I'm sure of that. And we'll have to do our best to keep hold of him. But he played very well tonight, and we we it was it was a ragged performance. It, it wasn't our best. It was far from our best. But you know, sometimes the one goal when it's level going into the second leg, the one goal, especially when it's at home, is all you need. And we got that one goal through the Jimenez penalty in the eighth minute, and you know we we didn't sit back, we we didn't sit back either. We we went for it, and we really should have killed it off. We had a couple of opportunities, one of them bit involving Perdent, but uh, that 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 one was offside. In, in the end, and talking of offside, we got we got a bit of stroke of fortune with uh, the three letter word VAR. And we need it. We we need that stroke of luck. The amount of times this season VAR has gone against us, and now, and now, is 
gone for us. It's it's not happened many times, and it's it's. I mean, it's hard to believe as a, a Wolves fan that it's actually gone right for us this season. It has got gone right for us a couple of times, but there's not been many major decisions that have gone right for us for us. Uh, you know, as as significant as as this one, and it it really was because we we were, we were saved there. And we were solid. We were solid defensively all night. But this is one of the few occasions where we fell asleep a little bit and we were fortunate and, you know, VAR saved us massively. Because if that goal had stood and, you know, it was a fraction and <laughs> those VAR decisions where it's been minimally offside and, you know, we, we've all called it stupid well that stupid rule has has saved us tonight because if they had scored that goal if they if without without the aid of VAR if they if they had gone on and scored that goal i mean the game would have changed massively because because the, then the away goals rule would have come into play at with the score line at 2-2 if they'd gone and scored again we would have had to score twice because we uh, they they would have scored uh, an extra away goal than us so you know these 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 decisions you know they they may seem an, an annoying when when it goes against us but when it goes for us we we realize how for, fortunate we really are when it when it when it does go for us and as i say we needed that we we massively needed that because we've really been frustrated so many times this season from var and we feel so lucky that finally, finally, something has gone right. And it's changing. It's, it's, there's, there's, there's some things that are changing to the AR. So hopefully next season it will be a lot less stressful. But, well, we've got a massive stroke of fortune and we needed that tonight. We really did. And we had a couple of chances, as, I, as I've mentioned just, we had a couple of chances to kill it off. Especially in the in the, in the second half, the probably the most significant one being Jota. I think it was about maybe five or ten minutes to go. Maybe Jota steaming forward, and well, he really should have. Maybe if he, he took the shot on a couple of paces earlier, maybe he would have wrapped the game up once and for all. But it's it's all it's all if buts and maybes in, in in this game sometimes and well luckily we held out in the end six minutes of added time so it's, it's always nervy isn't it when there's when there's a, a chunk of added time added on at the end but we got through it and we get through to the Europa League quarter final and we, we face either Sevilla or Roma and Sevilla are leading two 0 from the first leg which they play tonight. There was not not all the first legs were played before football was halted in March, and Sevilla against Roma was one of the ones that had to be pushed back. So they've just played their first leg tonight. Sevilla have won two 0 So it's looking likely that we will be facing well Sevilla there in the next round. Masters of this competition, they 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 won it three times in a row under Unai Emery a few years back. So they really know how to win this competition. So they're they're probably going to be our toughest test yet. And it was a tough test. It was a tough test against Olympia Harkos to get through. And you know, on paper, you would have thought it it wouldn't be a tough test. It would we would be expected to coast a victory. But Olympia Harkos made it very hard for us. But we passed the test in the end. And now we potentially have an even bigger test on our hands. Well. We will do because Roma are also a very good team, but Sevilla won it won it back to back to back once under Unai Emery. So, I mean, if we if we want to win this competition, we have to win it again. We have to beat the very best to do so. I'd like to know what what you thought of the game in the comments section below. Make sure to smash that like button. And I shall see you in a couple of days with uh, a, tra a transfer update. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date on all the latest 
transfer rumours that are flying in hot off the press. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy. Smash that like button if you did. And I shall see you in a couple of days with a new video. Until then, goodbye guys.